Hey guys, what's up? So, Toby's gonna talk best routes 5, 7, 12, 13, 14. The first tweak is called no Wi Fi when run this, please. Um, and basically, I guess you can change um, you allow not to run your Wi Fi for certain apps, and which forces it to use cellular data. This is called Chat UI and Cesar Bubbles 5 is 14. With this Chat UI, you can fully customize the light and dark themes for the messages app. And this is called Perfect Spotify, a also an enhancement uh, to your Spotify application. So these features right here. Spotify version, sports iOS 12 to 14, screenshots. This is called Pullover Pro. Uh, make sure you guys read the description, uh, the screener for it. It allows you to pull over like a menu, like a quick menu basically, and then you can have like your certain favorite apps there so you can easily access them. It's like a multitasking tweak. This is called Meredith and tint colors system wide. So you can change your tint colors. And this tweak is called Cilio. And it's APT client for iOS 11 and higher, so it's a city alternative. This is called Cilio Beta Channel, a same thing, property client for iOS 11 and higher, city alternative. This week it's called Spectrum, a system uh, color customizer for iOS 13, allows you to change not only the blue tint color in all the apps, but also the light and dark mode colors. This week called Chroma Home Bar Ets, and Razer Chroma inspired home bar color and tweak for on iPhone Ets, also works with little Ets. This streak is called Android Bar and brings back featured uh, version of Android Navigation Bar to iOS. So you have home button, quick action, disable system swipe gestures, and long press on the bar to collapse into a small window. Sports iOS 13 and 14. This streak is called Dismiss Progress, Dismiss Installation Window without closing Cydia. This streak is called Pancake and brings interactive dismiss gestures on the whole screen to all apps. Also has the ability to restore previously closed pages. This streak is called Kill X Pro, one swipe to kill them all. This is called Lube Hooker Configurator, Configuration Utility for Lube Hooker. This is called Fabric 2, Design uh, Your Own Law Screen for iOS 13 and 14. This is called Lyric 5, and it brings lyrics, you know, when you listen to music. Also, Lyrication does the same thing, so does Lyric Guys. So, Lyric 5, Lyric Guys, and Lyrication. So we get called Safari and Messages, introducing Safari and Messages. Uh, Safari and Messages adds functionality to the native Messages app to conveniently open links directly within the Messages, rather than launching Safari. This is called Yana, uh, Strawberry Cupcakes, upcoming events, and there's some weather to control center. This is called Puck, uh, prevents the need of re-jailbreaking. This tweet is called Starfish Beta, and a long way to redesign is almost here, 4 hours 14. Tweak is in beta, so we designed the home screen with a beautiful new layout. Every detail of the design has been uh, meticulously uh, refined, how it interacts with your wallpaper, to your gestures through, I mean, found throughout. It's not compatible with iPads. You have some known issues right here you can read about. And this tweak is called Aquarius, uh, makes the lock screen player better. And this tweak is called IK Settings, I was iOS 11 and 14, makes the UI corner rounded, removes the settings tats up, disable the search bar, removes the TV provider section, hides third party apps or apps. This tweak is called Fake Picture, and it's used for take, uh, fake picture taking when apps ask for a picture or selfie from the iPhone camera, replaces it to an image you set for. So, Fake Picture cannot replace the pictures taken by the Apple camera app. This is called GPS Master, uh, allows you to fake your GPS iOS location. You even like spoof, you can even like sweep your location as well, so pretty cool. This is called Shy Notification, cut off iOS 10 to 14, include ARM64E, 812, 813 devices. Not tested, but sure, I was to, uh, 10 as well. Need tweak that allows you uh, to not wake up the screen and receive a notification on these selected applications. Finally, it's here. Uh, this tweet is called CarPlay Enable. Using the application of CarPlay, where it's on iOS 14 and up. Sports video and audio playback, including while device is locked, does not support the other content like Hulu and Netflix. Supports running multiple apps at the same time, one on your device and one on CarPlay. It was updated to version 1.0.2. I guess it's updated again to dash one. Uh, I believe it was updated to like fits uh, with the torrent jailbreak. So now if you have the torrent jailbreak, you get issues before using CarPlay enable, you should now be able to download this and for it to work. If it's still not working with tor the torrent jailbreak, make sure you guys re-jailbreak with the latest version of the torrent jailbreak as well. This is called YT disable ugly suggestions, remove suggested videos that show up as a thumbnails at the some end of the some YouTube videos. She's got a better privacy for WhatsApp, better privacy options for WhatsApp, sports iOS 8 to 14. It's called Auto Tooth and it's with Wi Fi and Bluetooth after a configured period of time. This is called User Agent Changer or using User Agent Alternative, User Agent Alternative. It's called Safari Bar Fits, Fits Safari URL Bar. This is called Display Policy, Hide Search View Today View, 
SNS no ads, excludes ads from Twitter, Line, Lock Unlock Time, Lock Unlock Time, Safari Bar Fits, Fit Safari URL Bar. This is called SB Icon Alpha X, the application Icon Alpha, transparency. This is called SB Fake Wi-Fi X, replace the carrier name to the Wi-Fi SSID. This is called Status Bar Toggle, uh, Status Bar On or Off, Control Center Toggle. This is called Wi-Fi Scanner, uh, Wi-Fi Scanner, so it scans your Wi-Fi. This is called Home Bar Transparent, Home Bar Transparent. This is called Hardware Spets, about hardware information. This is called G Location, lets you change your location. For your GPS. This is called blank icons, create blank icons. And last week is called AP in history and Apple push notification history. So you still have your notification history uh, in a separate app, even when you remove it from the notification center on your iOS device. So you guys catch the next one, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.